Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Uh, I had a comment on YouTube if I can create a video about Laravel Inertia, a CRUD project with a file upload and I'm going to do that. So in this video I'm going to set up our project, maybe it's going to be two videos or three, I'm going to see. Here I am in the Laravel documentation and I'm going to open the terminal. Okay, now Let's navigate the herd directory and create a new Laravel project. Let's give it a name of uh, React Pack. Okay, choose the React and choose Laravel's built in authentication. Okay, let's choose npm install. And now let's navigate the React stack. Here I'm going to open this project with the VS Code. Maybe let's zoom it a little bit for you. Now let's go to .env and change the SQLite to be MySQL. And here, just uncomment them. Okay, I want also to open the DB engine and run this. I have a DB uh, database name Laravel. And I think we are OK. Let's close this. Let's open here now the project. Continue to HTTP site. And here is our Laravel project. Now before I run the register, let me just come here and run the artisan migrate. Migrate fresh. Okay. Let's go and register. Let's register with a Tony and say Tony at email.com here. Add the password. And let's create the account. I'm not going to save. And here we are. Here we have the dashboard. Now I want to add a link here to navigate the post. But first, let's create a post model and migration. So, artisan make model post. I have a shortcut, so art, uh, an alias for the PHP artisan make model. Just artisan make model like this and hit enter. And it's going to create the model and the migration. And let's come here and open the post migration and change something in here. So I'm going to add the title with add a slug also, which is going to be unique. And then also let's add content and we need also the image. Image is going to be nullable. I think we're okay. Let's close this and let's run partisan migrate again. Let's open the post model. And here let's add the protected Killable title content, user ID, we don't have the category ID, we have the slug and the image. And I think we are okay. Now let's create also the relationship between the uh, user. Yeah, and I forgot to add the user ID in here. So let me just say virgin user ID constraint on delete cascade. And let's run again. Artisan migrate. And I think we are good. Now let's open the user model. And here, let's create the relationship between the post and the user. So let's say public function post. And this is going to be a as many relation. I think I have imported that, so yeah, now we are okay. Let's close this. And as I told you, I want to have a, a link here. So if I open, let's open the resources, JS, and let's go to layout. We have the app layout, which is for this one. And by default, we have the sidebar layout. 
So if I open the sidebar layout, you have the app shell, then we have the sidebar, and then we have the content. So we need to open this sidebar, app sidebar, and here we have the header. We have also the sidebar content and nav main with the mine nav items. Okay. Just if I refresh, yeah, we need to go and register again. And here that's add the link. Now we have a dashboard, which is here title, dashboard, and the icon. And let's add one more for the post. URL is going to be post. And for the icon, yeah, we need the, let's say, a book open for now. Okay. Let's come here and refresh. Yeah, we need to run the npm run dev. Let me just run that. And now refresh. Here we have both. Okay. Now that's it all about this video because it's going to be a long video if I make all the crud in this video. But next we need to create the controllers for the create for the index for the create for the uh, update and so on. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.